We're now joined by the head coach of the Martinsburg Bulldogs here on the Sports Mix, Dave Walker. Coach Walker, your team finishes the regular season undefeated with a shutout victory by a final score of 36 to nothing last week over Hedgesville. What did you like from the Bulldogs in that victory? Well, I was just uh, happy with us being able to finish up the regular season. And uh, with that, uh, it allowed us to win the conference championship and uh, you know, help secure us a, a, a pretty good uh, seed in the postseason play. Coach, uh, your team gets another shutout, and the defense has really been the strength of this team. Um, it, it feels like all season. Do you feel like, or what do you think, I guess, allows the defense to uh, have such good games week in and week out? Well, I mean, I think we've got some pretty good players on that side of the ball. But I also feel like our coaching staff has done a really good job of putting our guys in the right position so they can be successful. And it really seems like on the defensive side of things, you guys make teams one-dimensional by stopping the running game for them as last week. Hedgesville finished with negative 51 net rushing yards. Just talk about, I guess, the run defense and what you see on that end, and then we'll get into the passing defense after that. Well, I think it starts with those guys up front. I mean, they've worked really hard. Uh, they're, they're, they're guys that's been in the weight room all year, um, and I think they just pay attention to detail. Uh, you know, they prepare well at practice, and, and again, I think Coach Ash and uh, Coach Roach and our guys, our defensive staff, it really does a good job of putting them in the right position. What about the passing defense? Uh, I mean, I think I think we we're talented in that department as well. I mean, we've not seen a lot of passing teams this year, um, but uh, those guys have done a good job of handling it uh, pretty well. Coach, offensively, the, the passing game has had its ups and downs. Um, at times looks really good. At times has, has struggled just a little bit. But um, your running game has been really dynamic all season long. And uh, when you look at Murphy and Coy Fagan in the backfield as well as Nick Buskey, uh, just having those three different guys all kind of different style runners, what do you think that does for your team? I think, you know, the more weapons we have, I think just the better we are. Um I mean, a lot of those same guys that are playing defensive front play the offensive front. So I think those guys have have done a really good job up front uh, in run blocking. And and obviously with Murph and Coy and and Nick, those are are three guys that uh, do a really good job when they get the ball in their hands. And as we said at the start of this, the regular season comes to an end as unfortunately you guys only had a nine-game schedule instead of a ten-game schedule. But – that also means you get a, another week off. How much is the week off benefiting your team this week? Uh, I mean, I think it's, it's a good thing. and It allows us to, you know, to rest up, which we're, we're our health in actually decent shape. But uh, it gives us a chance to go back and kind of catch our breath and work on some fundamental stuff, do some drill work, and you know, just kind of refocus for postseason, the, the second season, as we like to say. Is this week mostly about – kind of focusing on yourselves and, and trying to get some things cleaned up before the playoffs? It is. I mean, and, and doing some install. I mean, we're at a couple of wrinkles here and there, but uh, a lot of it is just to, to focus on fundamentals and, uh, and just come out and try to have a little fun and practice as well. We try to we cut down a little, cut down some things and try not to keep them out quite as long and have them move around and um, do some fundamental stuff and try to have a little fun. Coach Walker, the regular season, as I said, comes to an end. It's your first season back for you at the head coach of the Martinsburg Bulldogs. What, I guess, was the biggest adjustment, if anything, for you this year? I mean, I don't know how much of an adjustment it was. Um, I mean, I I was at this level for 32 years, so uh, or 31 years or whatever it was. And then uh, I think the big thing, I got kind of used to dealing maybe with older kids and and guys that were on scholarship were kind of getting paid to play. So, um, you know, and I think when you when you drop down to the high school level, I don't I don't think kids, it's not as big a priority um, for all of them like you'd like for it to be. So I think probably the biggest adjustment was you know coming back is just get make sure guys stay focused and make sure that they're giving you a lot of effort and practice and, and working hard. It's, it's the biggest thing. But then, but other than that, I mean, football's football for the most part. 
Coach, uh, looking at the rankings this week, you guys are tied for second in the latest ratings. Um, do you have a preference in terms of where you want to end up, or do you think you guys could still move up at all? I uh, for, for what we're gathering, I think three is probably the best that we'll end up, unless there were some crazy upsets. But uh, it really doesn't matter to me. I don't have any control over it, so uh, we'll play and – whoever we get paired with and go wherever we got to go. So it it really doesn't matter. During the game last week, we saw Cash Gideon back from injury and then for at least a drive, maybe it carried over into two drives. I'm not 100% certain. Uh, Murphy Clement went out for a little bit. Just talk about, I guess, the health of your team and how Murphy is, if there is anything going on with him or anybody else. No, I mean, we're pretty healthy. I think uh, Murph had uh, – he got punched in the stomach um, one time and then he caught a leg cramp the other time. So, I mean, he's healthy. And, and uh, Cash is um, – you know, he, he's back, so he should be 100% by, by the first playoff game. So, I think we're actually – our health is actually pretty good. So, uh, I feel pretty good about where we're at as far as that goes. All right, Coach, our uh, fun question this week is who's your favorite athlete? My favorite athlete. Uh, that's that's a really good question. Um, I'm going to go with Tom Brady. Uh, that that will be uh, unpopular with a lot of people, and popular with a lot of other people. But uh, I, I was, you know, of course he's not playing anymore. But uh, I was a I was a huge Tom Brady fan. Just the way he approached the game and his attention to detail and, and the fact that he was just a proven winner and, and, and he was started out kind of as, a, as an underdog. So, uh, yeah, I'd say Tom Brady would be probably the, you know, the, the one I would probably put near the top. I, I don't really, um, you know, think about it in terms of that, but, uh, that would, that would probably be my answer. Coach Walker, appreciate the time and we'll talk to you next week. All right. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you, gentlemen.